the most important meal part of the meal, in my opinion. The piece de resistance. The thing everyone looks forward to. We are well into December now. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome to another episode of How to Vegan the Holidays. My favorite time of year. Okay. <laughs> Relax. For this episode, we are tackling the entree. The main course, man. The most important meal, part of the meal, in my opinion. The piece de resistance. The thing everyone looks forward to, that's what we're doing today. Not saying sides are important. Sides are very important. Mm -hmm. So, what did we do? Uh, we wanted a showstopper type thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Some things, you know, they taste good, but they don't look that great. We wanted something that was both. So we went with a whole roasted cauliflower. Oh, hell yeah. And it looks amazing. I think this is a showstopper. Like it's, it reminds me of the holidays, just how it's cooked mm -hmm. and how it's served. Mm -hmm. So um, we went a more traditional route on the glaze because we didn't want to do anything too experimenty or anything. But uh, we did a basic like maple mustard glaze, kind of what you would see on like a ham yeah. because I really like ham style glazes. Yeah. So we did that on a cauliflower and guys, it is so good. Okay. Should we go make it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start off by washing and drying two to three small potatoes and cutting those into small cubes and setting them aside in a bowl along with three to four small carrots chopped up into about the same size as the potatoes, three stalks of celery chopped up into the same size as the potatoes, and about a half a lemon sliced into about the same size as the potatoes. Uh, you want to just toss all those together and then you're going to add those to the bottom of a cast iron or oven safe dish, preferably something round. Um, you want to leave a small hole in the center so that your cauliflower can fit in right in the center. Then you're going to add some sprigs of thyme as well as some needles of rosemary and mix that all in together and create your hole again. And then you're going to prep two different glazes. The first one's going to have about a quarter cup of butter melted, a teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of chopped up thyme and a tablespoon of chopped up rosemary, a tablespoon of sage, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and a tablespoon of some grainy mustard. We use just a Dijon. And about three quarters cup of vegetable stock. You're just gonna whisk that all together until it's all combined and set that aside. For the second glaze, you're just gonna add a tablespoon of that grainy mustard and a tablespoon of maple syrup and just mix that all together and set that aside. To prep your cauliflower, you're going to want to remove all the leaves from it as well as some of the stems so that the cauliflower sits flat. You also want to make sure that you remove enough of the stems so that you can see holes in the cauliflower so that you can get some of the glaze into the cauliflower as well. Once that is done, you're going to add about a quarter of a cup of the glaze into the cauliflower when it's turned upside down, if that makes sense. And then you want to turn that over and put it how you're gonna have it in the pan. You're gonna pour your glaze onto your cauliflower, reserving about a half a cup for a glazing halfway through. You just wanna make sure that gets everywhere that you need it to go, so do it about a quarter cup of a time so that you can kind of maneuver where it falls and so that all of the, cup, all of the cauliflower is covered. And then you're going to pour your mustard and maple syrup mixture right on top and just using your hands, rub it all over the cauliflower as if you were basting something. You wanna add some of the glaze that you put on the cauliflower to your vegetables as well. Then you're gonna bake that in an oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. Take it out, glaze it with the rest of the glaze that you had left over, put it back in the oven for another 30 to 40 minutes. Now, it takes a little bit of time, mm -hmm. but it's totally worth it. And an entree usually is the thing yeah. that takes the longest anyway. But like, it takes a little bit of time, but you don't have to do anything. Like, you mm -hmm. get all your prep done in like 15 minutes. Yes. And then it's baked in an oven for like an hour and 10 minutes. And at the end of that, you get a delicious meal. And compared to the cook time of a turkey, I mean, come on. Exactly. Come on. You could cook like four of these. Well, we're gonna eat it now. Yes, I am so excited to try this. And we're just gonna eat right into the roast, like, you know? Stick it 
stab it. Ah! I think like my favorite part is the crust that goes on the outside of it. I don't know if the flavoring got to the inside. I hope it did, but okay, here we go. And the stuff on the side, getting all the residual juices. So good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 Good? Mm-hmm. Would you like this for Christmas? As each flavor hits me, I'm like, oh, okay. Another mm -hmm. layer. Another layer. If I have one thing I wish there was more of, I don't know why, but I want more mustard flavor. Like, mm. I want to dip it in mustard right now. I mean, you can do that. Mustard maple dip. Nothing wrong with that. This is really good. It's so delicious. That crust on the outside is, like, so good. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest thing, like, this looks great, and I'd love to cook it just based on how it looks. But honestly, if you want to get the flavoring everywhere, this isn't the best way to do it because it just kind of goes on the outside of the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Cut up the cauliflower, mix it with all the vegetables, and put the glaze on everything. Mm. Delicious. And then you kind of just make like a big roasted vegetable thing. Yeah. You didn't eat any of the side stuff. Yeah, I had potatoes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, that's it for this recipe. We hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we really want to know what you guys are going to plan to make for your holiday dinner, if it's not this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, because we need ideas for next year. And just tell us in the comments below what you're making for your holidays this yeah. year. Yeah. As usual, we'll have links in the description of everything used in this video or everything that we could find online used in this video, especially the cast iron yes. pan. I think it's really important to the recipe. You can do it in any kind of oven safe thing, but the cast iron pan, I don't know if it's just the way it looks that's making me feel this way, but I think it just, like it gets the potatoes really crispy mm -hmm. and like gets the vegetables super crispy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you've checked out our previous How to Vegan the Holidays videos and stay tuned for what's up next to complete the series. Mm -hmm. We're getting close. Yeah, we got another How to, got two more videos, I think. I think so. Yeah, you're gonna like them. Uh huh. We tackled decor and dessert. Okay, that's it? Yeah. That's it? Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> I like the hint of sweet, the fresh herbs. Are you okay? No. Yeah, I had potatoes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Um, what do we have to say at the end of this video? You know, do the stuff. Do the stuff, eat the food, tag us in it. <laughs> <laughs>